Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. It is Friday the 13th in October. So what better day to make a video of the top 13 horror movie Blu-ray box sets. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm a big horror movie fan. I've got a lot of these Blu-rays in my collection here. And I think there's some really great stuff out there you might not be aware of. So I wanted to kind of do a little countdown here uh, and talk about my favorite Blu-ray box sets, which I think are the, for my money, they're the best Blu-ray box sets out there for horror movies. Uh, I, I, I agonized over the list uh, and putting them in order, so um, I, I tried to go from like my, my least favorite to the, to the most favorite. Um, I rearranged it a thousand times, so uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm sure with lists like this, if I'm off base, if I'm off base or miss something, or why did you put this number one and this one last, and all that sort of stuff. But I'll try to explain my reasoning, and um, I wanted to stick with Blu-ray box sets uh, of complete series is what I was trying to do. So I know uh, Arrow Video, Scream Factory, they've got some great single disc releases out there of single movies, and I'll make a video of those at some point too. Maybe I'll do a top ten or something, but. I wanted to talk about the box sets that are out there. And so, number 13 here, as you if you haven't figured that out already, it's the Saw Complete Movie Collection on Blu-ray. This includes all seven unrated films, even though there's a part eight now coming out, so Saw 7 is no longer the final chapter. So, the reason this is a pretty decent box set uh, is because of the price, mainly. This is about 13 bucks on Amazon. So 13 bucks for all seven movies is uh, is really good. You can't really beat that. Uh, it comes with the digital copy. Uh, you can see kind of what some of the knocks against it are. Is it the each movie doesn't have its own disc? So you can see Saw one and two share a disc, and then you got three movies on disc two, and then two movies on disc three. So. And the other kind of knock against this is you get the movies and that's it. There's like no special features to speak of on here. Um, but again, for the price, it, you kind of get what you pay for. It's not too bad, but that's kind of why I have it lower on the list. And again, Saw isn't my favorite movie franchise. I, I like the Saw movies, especially the first one. Um, but I like the other horror movie series on the li this list quite a bit better. So that's kind of why this is on the lower end of this list too. Now you can, if you care about getting all the special features and the commentaries and the featurettes and all that sort of stuff, these are available individually for pretty cheap. They're about nine dollars each for each movie. So is that nine times seven is 63, right? Can I do math? So even 63 bucks for all seven movies isn't terrible. Um, so go that route if you want to get special features, but for this, if you just want to get all the movies, get the unrated cuts, get them cheap, is like 13 bucks. So, there you go. That's number 13 on my list. So, number 12, we've got -da, the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, but Nightmare on Elm Street is great. Why is it so low on the list? Well, I love the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Um, I just think... This, this box set is good. It's a, it's a decent box set, but it's got a few knocks against it that I'll talk about, and that's kind of why I put it a little bit lower on the list. So, you do get all seven movies. Um, so, you get Nightmare on Elm Street, and you can see that the first movie has the most special features there with uh, commentaries and alternate endings and a couple featurettes and documentaries, and they all have a bunch of featurettes and documentaries on there. It's got a disc five with... Uh, some bonus stuff, Retrospective Fear himself, The Life and Crimes of Freddy Krueger, two episodes from Freddy Night, Freddy's Nightmares, even though it doesn't have the pilot, which is uh, the story of Freddy getting arrested and going on trial and all that sort of stuff, that would have been cool to be on here. So it's, it's not a bad box set, and it's nice to have all the movies all together. Um, what kind of knocks against it for me is a couple things. So first of all, Again, we have movies sharing a disc, which is a pet peeve of mine. I'd like each movie to be on its own disc. I feel like it's better quality that way, um, even if it's more discs. I know they do that to save money, but whatever. Uh, the price of this isn't too bad, too. 
Uh, oh, I forgot to look this one up. I think it's about maybe 20, 30 bucks. I don't think it's that much money. You can still find this pretty cheap. It's not out of print or anything like that. The other kind of knocks against this for me, uh, and maybe I'm being nitpicky, you let me know in the comments, but this is missing a few things that I'd like to see on this box set. Number one, we are missing the Freddy vs. Jason movie. It's not included in here. And we're also missing the remake. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the remake, but I think it's nice to have that if you're going to do a complete series box set. But okay, that's not so bad. You can pick those up separately. I actually grabbed the remake here to show you. This is, you know, the Blu-ray of the remake, if you want to check that out. But okay, but that's not part of the, the, uh, the box sets here. I was just showing that to you. The other thing is, there's deleted scenes from the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie that were released on Laserdisc. They were released on VHS. As far as I know, those have never made it to DVD, let alone Blu-ray. So I would have liked to have seen those on here. And plus, there's an unrated cut of Part 5 that surfaced on VHS back in the day. And that's never made it to DVD or Blu-ray either. So... I was really hoping for that like definitive set with all that stuff. I'm sure there's deleted scenes from all the other movies that we haven't seen. So this is not a bad box set. And I'm not knocking Nightmare on Elm Street as a series because I do enjoy it. But I think it's time for an upgrade to this box set. Uh, I don't know that that's going to happen. Nightmare on Elm Street isn't really in the cultural consciousness right now. There isn't a new movie coming out or anything like that. But if for some reason... The folks at New Line uh, are watching this. I think New Line still owns Nightmare on Elm Street, right? Um, yeah, get on that. That'd be great to get a nice uh, upgraded, definitive Nightmare on Elm Street box set. That said, this can be had pretty cheap. It's not a bad thing to own. Uh, it is nice to have all the films in high definition. All right, so that's my little take on Nightmare on Elm Street. So that's number 12. So let's move on to number 11. We've got The Exorcist, the complete anthology. Boy, I should have had something to stack these up in the back. We're just going to have to kind of pile those up, I suppose. Okay. So this is a pretty decent box set, of course, of The Exorcist franchise there. So you've got uh, the original. You've got uh, Exorcist, the extended director's cut, Exorcist II, the heretic, Exorcist Three, Exorcist the Beginning, and Dominion, the prequel to The Exorcist. So... It's cool that all four of the movies are on here. Well, all five, I guess, technically, right? If you count the, the last two prequels, they're, they're two separate movies. They're totally different movies. Um, and it's it's pretty good. It's You got the movies on Blu-ray in here. Let's check it out. And uh, I guess the only reason I kind of knock this down a little bit, too, is because uh, I like Exorcist 1 and I like Exorcist 3, Exor <laughs> I like Exorcist 2 as a movie that's just so bad it's good. I mean, that's just a movie. You, you got to watch it to believe it. It's just not a good movie. And then I don't really enjoy either one of the prequels. I don't think either one of them are all that great. So, um, but there you go. It's cool to have it. Um, and they're interesting to watch. I mean, you know, I, I can still, in a weird way, enjoy... <laughs> Movies I don't like, I can still enjoy to, to see kind of where they were trying to go with it and what they did with it, and I can still sometimes enjoy watching stuff like that. So, so there you go. If you're a fan of the Exorcist series, this is the box set to get. Now, I also wanted to point out, Scream Factory has an Exorcist 3 Collector's Edition, uh, and that comes with a Director's Cut that is not on this box set. This Exorcist 3 was released after this box set came out. Uh, so if you're interested uh, and you like Exorcist 3, you might want to check this out because there's some stuff on here that isn't in this box set. So I thought I would just point that out too, right? So it was number 11. Am I on? I'm going to lose count here. Okay, so number 10. Number 10, I'm going to cheat a little bit here, right? So number 10, we've got the Dracula Legacy Collection. And I'm kind of cheating because I've also got Frankenstein, Wolfman, and The Mummy. All right, so I kind of lumped all these Universal Monster Legacy Collections together on Blu-ray here. Now, they don't have a Legacy Collection of Invisible Man and Creature of the Black Lagoon yet. They have it on DVD, but not quite on Blu-ray, but it, they are planned to do it. And these are awesome. I love the Universal Monster movies. The thing about these is... Uh, it's great because they include every movie from the franchise. So with Dracula here, you get Dracula, Dracula's Daughter, Son of Dracula, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. 
But unfortunately, with Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman, there's some overlap. So you can see um, Frankenstein also comes with uh, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott Costello meet Frankenstein. And then the Wolfman comes with House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, Abbott Costello meet Frankenstein. Uh, and then the Mummy is all just the Mummy movies. So, um, so it's great that they've included the Abbott Costello movies. It's great that you get every movie from the franchise. But because the characters all kind of crossed over, this was kind of really the first uh, cinematic universe uh, before Marvel, uh, way back in the you know the, the 30s and 40s and everything. Um, they, because they overlapped, they, they overlap on the, the Blu-rays too. So just kind of bear that in mind. Uh, you might want to see if you can find them uh, cheap so you're not paying for movies you already have. But I love the Universal Monster movies. And I thought it was worth kind of cheating a little bit here with number 10 um, and just kind of showing you all these because, again, they're overlapped. They're almost kind of the same, but not really. So, And I couldn't pick just one, so screw it. It's my video. I can do what I want. There we go. I cheated. So that's number 10 is the Universal Monster Movie box set. Oh, okay. So now that was number 10, right? So now we're going to move on to number 9. And this is something you might not be aware of. Because this is the Scream Collection. This is the Scream Complete Collection. And if you look real close, you can see some of that's in French down there. And that's because this is a Canadian release. And Canadian releases are Region 1. They'll play on U.S. players. This has got all four movies. And the reason I picked up the Canadian set is because it was... I forget, it was about 40 bucks on Amazon when I, when I got it. So that's not bad. About 10 bucks a movie. It's not bad at all. And it comes with all four of them. In the U.S., they have something called the Scream 5 movie collection, which is total BS because it comes with the first three movies and then two documentaries. Scream 4 is not on that collection. you got to get it separately because of some weird rights issue in the U.S. that, whatever, I don't quite get it, but that's the deal. So I thought, boy, if I want to get the Scream collection, I wanted all four of them. Here we go. And each one's on its own disc, which by now you realize makes me happy. And you get a bonus disc with some documentaries on there. So, and you get it in French too, if that's what you prefer. So, I thought that would be cool to point out. You may not be aware that this is out there. This is the Canadian release. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. And, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of the screen movies, this is a cool little box set to get. Pretty decent. All right. So now, I believe, what are we on? Number eight? Am I losing count here? We're counting down. So for number eight, I picked... The Wishmaster Collection. Uh, these are fun movies. Uh, they're just they're just a goofy good time. It's awesome that uh, Lionsgate has Vestron Video, right? Yeah. So Lionsgate put these out under their Vestron Video label, right? So you can see with Wishmaster. Hopefully you can you can read that there. You get uh, some audio commentaries and interviews and all sorts of cool stuff. And there's featurettes on all of them there. Um, I picked this one because I like the Wishmaster series here. I'll show you what it looks like inside. There you go. Each movie uh, does not get its own disc, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, so this is, again, this is that's about, I think it's around 20 bucks, something like that. So it's not bad for four movies. It's pretty good. And if you're a fan of these kind of cult horror movies like this, like Wishmaster, I encourage you to check out this Vestron video series. This is number nine. I think there's about 11 or 12 of them so far from Lionsgate, and they're really great. They've got uh, a Warlock collection. they got Waxwork 1 and 2. you got Chopping Mall. Um, what else did they put out? Slaughter High is coming out soon. Blood Diner. So all these really cool old 80s horror movies uh, are really getting this nice Blu-ray upgrade treatment from Vestron Video and Lionsgate here or Lions Gate under their Vestron video label. So I encourage you to check out the rest of these Vestron videos. But I don't know, I, I like Wishmaster for some reason. So I picked that one. So, but all the Vestron video stuff is good. Okay, so now let's see. I think we're up to number seven, right? Am I counting right? Um, all right, so this one is another one you might not be aware of is out there. This is the Fly Ultimate Collection. Now, this is an Australian release, but guess what? It's region free. It'll play on US players. So how cool is that? So this is something 
there isn't a US counterpart to that, to this. So picking up this US, um, yeah, picking up the Australian collection is the way to go. It's got the fly, Return of the Fly, Curse of the Fly, and then it's got the awesome David Cronenberg remake and the Fly 2, which is not as awesome. But this is the first time I think the Fly 2 and Curse of the Fly have come to Blu-ray. And uh, this is about, right now it's about 50 bucks on Amazon. So about 10 bucks a movie, again, not too bad. And it's got special features, audio commentaries and uh, deleted scenes and all sorts of cool stuff. I really like the the Fly movies. Uh, I like the original. I like Return of the Fly and Curse of the Fly too. They're, they're fun, goofy movies. And the Fly remake is awesome. It's a classic. And the Fly 2, eh, it's not as great. But it's awesome that you get this whole collection here. It's cool that they put out a box set. And I think it's especially cool that, uh, again, each movie on its own disc, which makes me a happy guy. And I think it's great that, uh, oh, you guys got a reversible cover. No, The Fly coming in 2017. Oh, it's a book. Okay, yeah, no, that's not the Blu-ray. All right, so anyway, um, I think it's cool that they've got this box set, and I love that it is region-free. That makes me very happy. You can play it on, I played it on my PlayStation 3, my PlayStation 4. Uh, should work on any old Blu-ray player that you have. And now I messed up the cover. It's going to drive me crazy. Get back in there. Um, so check this out. I think this is a cool box set. And I wanted you to know that it's out there and that you should pick it up. You should watch these fly movies. There you go. Okay, so we've got the fly. So now, moving on. What was that, number seven? I got six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so this is number six. All right, guys. Here's a big one. You ready for this one? Ho oh, ho. You knew this was coming. Friday the 13th. 12 films of terror. Okay. So this is a pretty decent box set. Very cool that we got it. Um, it's in this really cool steel book here. There are a few things, a few caveats about it, some things that I'll, I'll go over that I wish they had improved. But overall, this is a very good, uh, a very good box set. So um, let's talk about what's in here and let's talk about why uh, you may or may not want to pick this up. So, here's uh, here's the deal. It's in this cool steel book. It's got this awesome kind of like ribbon here. I told the others they didn't believe me. You're all doomed. Uh, so it comes with. Let's show you here. Okay, you got all the movies, right? Here they are. They're in this little cardboard slip case. There you go. Very cool. Cool artwork. So, kind of wish they weren't in this little cardboard that's kind of annoying. Um, they are all on their own disc, so again, makes me happy. Um, oh, no, they're not. I, I think I'm wrong. I don't think they are. No, yeah, they are. And that's awesome. And there you go. So, what's also cool is it comes with Freddy vs. Jason, so that's great. And it comes with uh, the remake which is cool. And it's got the uncut and theatrical version of the remake. It's got a bonus disc with a bunch of stuff. You get a little truncated version of the awesome Crystal Lake Memories book with some cool stuff in there. You got 3D glasses to watch part three and 3D. And you got a Camp Crystal Lake counselor patch. So very nice. Um, so let's talk about what this box set doesn't have. Oh, it also has the uncut, unrated version of the very first Friday the 13th movie. So that's a nice addition, too. Here's what it doesn't have. It does not have the uncut version of Jason Goes to Hell, which kind of sucks, especially because that was released on DVD. Hello, here it is, unrated and R-rated version. So there you go, there's Jason Goes to Hell, unrated. Um, so that kind of that kind of sucks. That uh, it's not there. The digital version is unrated, uh, but the digital code is long expired. So if you buy this box set, uh, you're, you're SOL with that. And then the other thing is, this is long out of print. Good luck finding this thing. This goes for at least like 200 bucks on eBay. I just looked it up before this video. Somebody's selling a sealed copy for $400, uh, or they're trying to get $400 for it. That doesn't mean they'll get that money, but... Um, so yeah, so that's a, a reason why you might want to avoid this. But otherwise, this is a cool set. Um, and who knows if it'll ever come back in print. 
listen, I'm running out of time, so I'm going... Oh, no, I got about a minute left, so... Um, I'm going to have to split this video into two parts, so we'll have to do the rest uh, in, a, in a part two video. So I'll, I'll make sure I do that. But, uh, but yeah, overall, with this Friday the 13th box set, um, I'm hoping they do uh, a new version of it, but the Friday the 13th series is um, mired in like a rights battle now. It's in the court, so who knows? So keep an eye out for this one. If you can find it for under 200 bucks, I would consider it a deal. Um, if you can find it for even less than that, uh, check it out. But it is great to get these movies in high definition, and I think overall it's a pretty decent box set. And in, in spite of the fact that the unrated cut of Jason Goes to Hell is missing, I think that's an oversight. Um, and I think there's still some deleted scenes out there we haven't gotten. So listen, uh, my time is running out, so I'm going to split this into two. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on collecting, and come right back for part two to see my top six. All right, I think six. Boy, I keep losing count. Thanks a lot.